Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at custom radars, specifically this fantastic radar design by a guy called Joint. And no, you're not going to get back banned for using this. So you can see the radar has a new pleasing high contrast colour scheme with thick white lines representing walls and objects and covered areas shown by blue or orange diagonal lines, depending on what they are. The biggest improvement though is how accurate the radar now is. As maps have evolved over time, their geometry and the object placement within the maps has changed. However, the radar images haven't evolved to portray this. These new radar images aim to be 100% geometrically accurate. You can see in this comparison picture how different the radar is for maps such as Mirage. Little things like the boxes in the middle being the wrong shape and size are fixed and made a lot clearer so it's now much easier to see and interpret. So far, Joint has finished radar images for Dust2, Inferno, Mirage and Overpass and is working on the rest. You can pick up the files for the finished ones over at www.simpleradar.com. Just click full pack download near the bottom and then click download. Now open Steam and right click on CSGO and then click properties. From here, open the local files tab and click on uh, browse local files. These are going to be your CSGO assets. Uh, now open the CSGO folder, then click on resource and finally open overviews. In this folder is going to be all of your radar images. So you should make backups of the files that you're going to change, which are going to be uh, ddust2radar.dds, dmirageradar, uh, doverpassradar and dinfernoradar. Um, you should also back up the spectate versions as well. Um, these are what are displayed when the map's actually loading in. Um, and if there's no spectate file present, then it's going to load the original radar file. So just back those ones up too, put them in the backup folder with everything, uh, just to make sure they don't get, you don't lose them. And you can always revert back if you don't like the radar. Um, now, what you want to do is unzip and drag the DDS files that you've downloaded from Simple Radar into this folder, and you're done. You'll have installed the radar. Simply jump in a game and try it out. And to remove it, just delete the images that you've put in, and move the backups that you've made back into the original folder. So now that you've got the shiny new radar, there's a couple config commands that you can use to make it even better. The first is CL radar scale. Um, normally I have this set to about 0.3, and the reason for that is that it zooms the map out so far that you can see everyone. You don't get um, little arrows at the edge of the radar because they're not printed on, which you get when it's quite big like this. Um, so instead, having it set really small allows you to be able to see the entire map um, without being like, oh, where are they? Are they are they at B or are they at A when you're over by playground, etc. A set of aliases that go hand in hand with that are these, radar zoom in and radar zoom out. These allow you to actually tap the key that it's bound to, to toggle the radar from zooming in and zooming out. Potentially, say if you're on site and you know they're coming and you need more precise locations, you can just tap the bind to zoom in more and you can get a clearer overview of where exactly they are, if that's what you need. So another command that I don't personally use, but I know a lot of people recommend, is CL radar always centered zero. When this is set to zero, the radar is always in the center, uh, like this, and you move around it um, as if you were navigating the map, exactly like you are. But it, when it's set to one, uh, you're put in the middle of the radar, and the map actually moves around you. Um, and I prefer it this way because it means I, I, I know exactly 100% where I am in relation to uh, maybe enemies on the map, because I'm always in the exact center. Uh, and I, I tended to, to actually lose myself on the radar sometimes when I, when I tried to quickly flick up, but I know a lot of people like it solely because uh, it allows you to see the entirety of the map um, without having to worry about the zoom and the scale and stuff. So what do you guys think about this radar? Have you used any like custom ones yourself, or is there something that you're looking to, to see and have on your radar yourself? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, guys.